Hello everybody, welcome back. If you watched my last video, you may have heard me say that I'm going to try and get a second art video out in the month of October. And well, here we have it. It is October 31st, so happy Halloween. Uh, I've decided to draw the Crypt Keeper today because, you know, Halloween. I still haven't gotten to the art supply store to buy uh, some nice drawing paper. So uh, I've decided just to grab an old comic book backing board. So that's what I'm drawing on here. Uh, it's even a little bit yellow, which I think is actually kind of works well for the Crypt Keeper. Now, uh, because of the kind of semi-glossy surface on the comic backboard, I've decided not to use the typical blue pencil I usually start sketching with. Uh, blue pencil didn't quite take to the sheen, so I'm just jumping right in with the regular lead pencil and getting to work. The process is still uh, exactly the same though. I just start out with really rough lines and just really scribble out my shapes, trying to just find the lines that I want to keep. Uh, it just ends up being messier by doing it all in one color. So here we've got me defining the skull shape of the head, working on the eyes there. And I've decided really just to work quick and jump right into the ink pen. So here I've got my microns. And since I'm really just working from a scribble sketch, I'm partially drawing it right here in the inking phase. And I'm not worried about inking pretty. This is the Crypt Keeper. So I'm just kind of inking very loose with rough scribble type lines and it fits really well with the subject matter. As you can see here, I'm going in and defining details as I go, whereas in the initial sketch, sketch stage, there really wasn't all that too much detail in there at all. Now, inkline drawing like this uh, is something that I really enjoy doing. When I was in college, I discovered uh, Bernie Wrightson's illustrated Frankenstein, which is possibly uh, his greatest work. Um, and I was absolutely blown away by the, the line art uh, illustrations in that book. And I studied him. Uh, I've always kind of just absolutely been in awe of that piece of work and the way he drew those illustrations. And I really enjoyed drawing in that style. I've never been able to copy that skill level, but I really do uh, like the uh, ability to build up shades and textures with the line work. And so a subject matter like this, where the Crypt Keeper has that really wrinkled, rotted skin, is a perfect subject matter for that type of style, where you're just building up the shades and the textures with lines and it's just hatching all over the place. And at this point here, I'm really kind of enjoying where it's going. I'm liking the, the, the texture of the skin that I'm building up and the line work. One thing I'm noticing though, is that because the comic backboard has a bit of a glossy sheen to it. Uh, the ink is not really being absorbed by the paper. Now, when I did the Venom a few weeks ago, I had the opposite problem, where I chose inkjet paper, and the inkjet paper sucked in the ink too much. 
Here, the problem is, is that the paper is not absorbing the ink enough. It's just sitting on top of that glossy backboard and it's not drying. So I'm getting kind of a very wet, messy drawing at this point. I have to be careful not to put my hand down on top of the line work. It's already kind of smudging in places. Now, right about here is probably where I should have stopped. Uh, I really like the look of the drawing in this stage of the game here. Uh, I've got some, like I said before, nice textures build up with the line work on his face, a little bit of shading, but I've always been the type of guy who just doesn't know when to quit. Um, I was curious, since I'm working with the markers here, to you know, add a little bit of shading and what would happen if I added a little color. So I decided to work some kind of fleshy tones a little bit into his face. The problem, of course, is like I said, that backboard is not absorbing any of the ink. And because the ink is sitting on top of the surface so wet, uh, I've got a bleeding problem right here where the marker is kind of smearing the ink lines. So now I have to really approach this in a different way than I initially intended. I have to be very careful about how I'm dropping the color down. I'm just sort of dabbing it with the tip of the marker and not really uh, sweeping kind of brush strokes or anything like that that would completely ruin the drawing if I did that. I'm also just letting my hand kind of hover over the surface of the paper because if I accidentally let my hand rest down, I'm just going to make a big, like, handprint smear mark on the art. And I'm just adding a little bit more contrast. Bit more shading. And now I've decided to go in with some white paint and just kind of uh, bring out a little bit more highlights, add a little bit more contrast now that I've gone in deeper with the shadows. I like to go in and add kind of brighter highlights here and there to add more depth to the entire piece. So whereas before I originally intended to just sort of have a black and white line ink drawing, this has ended up being kind of a multimedia piece. I've got a, a number of different things going on here between the markers and the white paint and the, uh, the ink lines. But it's turning out well. I kind of like how it's working out. Just adding a few finishing touches. And there we have it, the finished drawing. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope everybody has a happy Halloween.